The dueling ring calls. Care to test your skill? The tournament welcomes all fighters. You're holding duels during an invasion? Everyone needs a little entertainment during wartime. Besides, we're using Bokken to avoid injuries. I only duel with a clear purpose. You want a purpose? We offer generous rewards, as long as you win. If you are interested, the contenders are waiting at the ring. I suppose I could use some sparring practice. In honor of your fine katana, we will call you Bokdo. Some advice? Each combatant has a unique style with distinct strengths and weaknesses. Challenge a contender. Don't keep the people waiting. <laughs> Sword made of steel. You must lack technique. This katana is for war. For you. I'll use one made of wood. I once impaled a man with a wooden sword. Did it when I was 13. <laughs> and you're still bragging about it? I've beaten plenty since then. Then stop dwelling on the past and show me your skill today. The Bokto challenges Kai. I'll rip you open. And now it's time. Introducing first Bokto and his opponent, the brutal raider. Kai kicks and punches are allowed. First to five touches wins. Begin! Your friends close, but your armor in good order.
They didn't stand a chance. No. You're going to be all right. Uh, the Eagle Tribe said they were helping us. <laughs> Not so bad after all. Go. Be well. Bad times. We'll do it again. You haven't seen what the Eagle Tribe can do. And you're too young to remember the samurai invasion, the pain we endured, drunk out of the people we lost, shouting about the woman being unfit to lead. She gave him one warning. That's when he started pissing on her steps, and she chopped off his head. Which one? Who are you? Thought I knew every face on Iki. Just a traveler. Stranded here by the Eagle Tribe. You're welcome to join us. If you want to hear an old man complain about the past. We survived one invasion, and we can do it again. Or have you all forgotten how much we suffered at the hands of the Samurai? That was nothing compared to the danger we face now. Nonsense. You are too young to know anyway. It's past time. I remind you all about the dark days of the Samurai invasion. About the brutality of Kazumasa Sakai. Fifteen years ago, our home was invaded by an army of ruthless Samurai. Their leader was Kazumasa Sakai, the Butcher of Iki. He rode to battle atop his demonic beast, shielded with armor as black as his master's heart. Luckily, the butcher made a grave mistake when he came to Iki. He brought his whelp of a son. Our bravest warriors hunted the boy, not to kill, but to tempt his bloodthirsty father. Kazumasa gave chase and rode into a trap. His armored horse met a grisly end. But the Butcher and his runt son survived, then fled like cowards. Enough of these lies. That is not what happened. I live near Senjo Gorge. I saw it with my own eyes. So did I. Who are you? My name is Jin Sakai. Kazumasa Sakai was my father. He gave his life trying to help this island. Help? He murdered us! Your people repaid his help by murdering him. Is that why you're here? To avenge your father and take my head? You may be a liar, but you are not my enemy. Not yet. Stop this! You're acting like wild dogs! I came here to help, not for revenge. You mentioned my father's horse armor. After he died, we never recovered it. We know. Tell me where it is, and I can use it to ride against the Eagle tribe. I would die before I help a samurai. It's time you leave. Stay out. He knows something about my father's horse armor. But he'll never tell me. And as I listen in on him, without being seen. You're not welcome here. I would have... 
Jiro. I lost six family members to the samurai invasion. My sister was still a child, the way they were butchered. We couldn't recover everything to give them a proper burial. That never should have happened. What about the rest of your story? Ah, yes. I was just getting to the good part. Kazumasa fell for our trap and lost his armored horse. As our warriors closed in, the butcher and his boy fled into Senjo Gorge. The samurai limped through the canyon and ran headfirst into an ambush. There was no grand battle. Only a few raiders with dull blades. But that was all it took. One swing to end the life of Kazumasa Sakai. While the samurai slunk home, we recovered the armor from Kazumasa's mount. Over the years, our finest horses wore that armor. Every one of them killed its rider. As if possessed by the butcher's vengeful spirit. So we sold his horse's armor to the Ida merchant family. The cursed armor left our shores aboard the merchant fleet as a storm descended on our island. The sky roared with the thunder of a thousand charging samurai, and the raging tempest shattered the Ida ships against our rocky coastline. The ruins of that doomed fleet still choke Zasho Bay. And somewhere in that watery graveyard lies the cursed armor once worn by the horse of Kazumasa Sakai. My father's horse armor is still lost in Zashou Bay. Armor should be on the merchant's lead ship, marked by the Ida family banner. Was it gold or red?
The curse of Kazumasa Sakai is real. Once your horse wears this armor, he will feel your father's terrible bloodlust, and he will kill you. Father's horse armor. We'll see if it fits Sora. you well, Sora. Curse or not, you wouldn't throw me, would you, boy? You look just like my father's horse. May this armor protect you in battle. The evil tribe, they found the survivor's camp. Come, Sora! Oh, shit! 
Your horse? Is that? The horse armor of Kazuma Sasakai, restored to his son, and cursed no more. After everything I said, you saved us. There is a new threat on Iki. I saved you from these Mongols because I was raised to help those in need. Raised by Lord Shimura, and the man you call Butcher. I can't forgive your father. But as for his son, you're more merciful than he ever was. I never thought I would say this, but thank you, Lord Sakai. That's my Sora.